everybody, E here. Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Today we are talking about Devil's Creek by Todd Kiesling. Uh, this book comes out today, so happy book birthday to the book and to Todd. Uh, up front, I need to let you guys know that I consider Todd one of my friends. That in no way has shifted this review. There is no bias here. I've reviewed friends in the past, acquaintances in the past, and given them negative reviews, some of them as low as one star. Um, this is not that, uh, this is not that case. Uh, this book is fantastic. There's three things that I look for in a horror novel, and that is character, dread, and pacing. Um, with character that's in, in that order. I need there to be characters that I can care about or characters I can sympathize with or un at, at the very least characters I can understand. Now as far as the dread comes in, I'm not a huge fan of gore. Um, I'm really not a fan of gore for gore's sake. Uh, violence and brutality is great, but if all you're doing is throwing blood, guts, and ass everywhere, I, I could care less. And the last one is pacing. You have to keep me interested. There has to be something going on at least every, I would say, ten pages. And this book checks every single one of those boxes. There are going to be, there already are, and there are going to be loads of reviews that talk about how this harkens back, um, even in my review that I'm writing, harkens back to the heyday of small town horror. But what I'm going to refrain from doing is comparing Todd to other authors, because this book is wholly completely Todd's work. The, there are nods to several different authors. Um, he even mentions a book, I don't, like I said, I'm not going to mention it all where, what his inspirations are, but he even mentions uh, his inspirations in the last bit of the book. I think it's the acknowledgement section or the afterward, I'm not sure which one it is. He talks about, you know, where the book idea came from and all that. Um, or the inspiration, it's not really the book idea. The, uh, but the reason for that, like I said, is because this is Todd's novel. This has, this is unlike any other small town horror book, horror novel I've read in the past decade. And I'm going to go ahead and say this is the horror event of the past ten years. I have not read a horror novel, especially not a small town horror novel, that was this well thought out, this well paced, with characters this good. I'm going to go into characters a little more here. Um, Every single character, from the smallest one, like Skippy, for instance, when you read it, you know what I'm talking about. Every single one of these characters are fleshed out. So often in these books, what you get is, you get one chapter from the person that's about to get killed, you have your main character or main characters, but then the people who die off throughout the book, you get one chapter of development, that's it, before the, they, and in that same chapter, they're usually ended up being killed by the end of it. That's not the case here. Uh, every single character, and I am in awe, I am shocked. So, sorry, Todd, that's, that has no bearing on you as an author. It's just, I haven't read a book, a horror novel, this good in a long time. Um, the, the characters, I, 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 I want to stress this, the characters are amazing. They're in-depth, each one has their own lives. You, you come to care about certain people, and that just makes what happens to them all the more poignant. It, it makes it all the more uh, emotional. So there are certain characters in here I didn't care too much about, but I still got teary-eyed when they died. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to spoil anything for you. But going from that into the dread, there's so, this book drips dread. There are some scenes in here that not only build up the horror, but when the horror finally comes. You're completely unprepared for it, but you still have that preparation of, of the dread. It's like you know something terrible is going to happen. Here it comes, here it comes, and the payoff was always, always on point. And, of course, the last one is pacing. Something happened in every single chapter. Something to move the story along. And so often, this is a chunk of a book. This is a six by nine, so it's the size of a hardcover. It's 400 pages. A paperback would probably be five to 600 pages. 
every single page had every single chapter had something going on if it wasn't a character development if it wasn't the dread then, then there, there was just something there that kept me reading I read this very slowly I think about a chapter a day sometimes two chapters because I just couldn't put it down uh, I need to harp on this this book is something else the, the, this book came out of nowhere for me I knew Todd was a good writer um, he's also a great guy but to this is this is also my first book that I've read from him, um, and I think that added a little bit to the to the fact that I was so damn shocked. Uh, the only criticism I have, and this isn't the criticism at all, because I don't think he could have added more. I would have liked to see more from the Skippy character, but other than that, I don't have anything bad to say about this. I am hyper critical of horror, especially nowadays, when you get so much so much build up with so little payoff um, I'm not going to mention any names I don't want to spoil this review with you know with other authors like I said at the beginning I I'm, I'm in awe of this man's talent um, so much so that I went out and bought every single one of his books that he had available at his store they should be on their way to me um, the the feeling that I came across maybe not a hidden gem because people I, I've read reviews from for, for his work uh, I shouldn't have been surprised because the people who were talking so so well about him were people that I trusted. But it's still even all that aside, it was it still blew me away. So the book is out today. I will leave links down there in the doobly doo to the uh, to his, the Amazon where you can buy the uh, hardcover, the paperback, and the ebook. I think all at once. But I'm also going to link you to a place where you can get a signed copy of the book from Todd himself. Um, all those links will be down there in the doobly-doo. I highly suggest getting the signed copy because I have a feeling that this book is going to just blow the fuck up. Um, if you've read this, I'd love to talk to you about it. Please no spoilers down there in the doobly-doo. Um, if you read it and you didn't like it, man, I would love to hear why you didn't like it. No spoilers again. Um, so if you do have spoilers, you want to talk about spoilers, please let's let's talk elsewhere. Let's talk over on Twitter. Um, you can DM me on Twitter, you know that kind of thing. But yeah, go out and buy this. Um, I, I I can't harp on this enough. This is a fantastic novel, unlike anything I've ever read. And yes, it does have elements from all these other authors that people keep bringing up. There's even a blurb on the cover that dumps a whole bunch of <laughs> different horror author names. It is truly Todd's own work, and it is something to behold. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!